Okay guys, I just got the Fremenic Elite Diary done. I'm super excited. I didn't even know my camera was on, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this XP lamp to pretty much this herbal level. So nice. And then I got these boots. So good. I'm like super happy. And now I'm gonna go do DKs with my friend. Uh, he's gonna do Rex while I do Supreme and Prime, so let's do this. All right, so here we are, finally getting to 88 Herbler. Super nice, good stuff. Uh, having to make these stupid Zami brews because I messed up my torsos where basically I put the torsos in uh, water instead of using them to make super combats because I wasn't even thinking. Talk about the stupidity. Don't do that as an Iron Man because Torsal is used for super combats using it on previous potions, not by... The only thing you can use Torsals are in unfinished potions are Zami, Zamorak Brew. I totally messed that up. So don't don't make that mistake, guys. But um, happy I got 88 uh, herbal and trying to get for 90. Okay, I finally got the split bark, all of the fine cloth, finally, 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 and I can make this split bark body and legs, and that will be complete for clues. Man, there's all this, like, little stuff on Iron Man that you would never think you would ever have to do, but you do have to do it if you're interested in clue scrolls. Um, but once it's done, it's done, and I'm really glad they incorporated the hidey holes in the game, so... Not 100% who I talked to for Split Bark, but I'll figure it out. This is the first time I've ever done this. I didn't even know you, what fine cloth was used for, let alone how hard it was to get. I just say it's a Morton. It took like probably like three hours to figure this all out. Uh, can you make me some armor, please? What would you like me to make? I want this. Okay. Cool. And I want to make the legs. Boom. All good. So it cost a little money, cost a little here and there, but now I've got that for the elite clue, so that's good. Let's see what it looks like. I'm actually kind of curious. Huh. I look like a tree. I got everything planned out, guys. I am 34k from 86 mining. And I love mining, so I'm really enjoying this. Then I'm going to go get all the smithing levels I can get. Uh, out of the ore I have, and then I'm going to do Hunter. Now, why am I going to do Hunter? I'm going to do that Herbivore for herbs so I can level Herbler. Got this all planned out. Uh, the reality of me doing it, though, is probably not going to happen because I always have stuff I'm, like, planning to do, and then I always hop around. But, I mean, that's the fun of RuneScape, right? You're supposed to do what you feel like doing and enjoy doing at the time. But, yeah, that's my plan. We're going to get that E6 mining, go ahead and smith everything, and then go do that Herbler. I just got 86 mining. Woo, awesome. That's really good stuff. And um, I kind of want to stay here and mine, but I know I need to smith. So I think I'll just stay here for a little while and then eventually go smith all these ores. So I unfortunately didn't catch this on video, but I actually just got 85 smithing, which is great because now it means I can smith this Ruinite ore. And it looks good. And I have no idea how much ore I have and if it's enough to get another level. But it is really exciting to know that um, I can do runite bars now. Uh, I have a lot of them to do. I'm not sure how much XP will give though. 600 is a pretty good amount considering that they're kind of hard to get. Dang, 1,300 XP drop. That's pretty good. I mean, it kind of is like gold ore, but takes much longer because you have to have more coal but that's so nice and a full inventory of that is like wow 300 something k that's amazing i'm about to get 83 herbler uh not herbler i'm sorry hunter herbal born herbler kind of confused me but yeah <laughs> i can't believe my iron man has gotten this far along and has finally got the level to catch dragon imps <laughs> funny Okay, so from level 82 Herbler to 83 Herbler, I got roughly around 720k to 617k. Looks like 720k, so that's pretty good, but I'm going to be using all these herbs anyway.
Gosh, I got a bando's hilt. <sighs> that's awesome. I'm about to die. I should probably eat. Oh man, that's awesome, guys. Good stuff. Bando's hilt. Like, I just got 93. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to attack that. 93 uh, attack, which is awesome. And now I'm going to try to get uh, 94 strength. And I sting. I still am 118 combat. I feel like it takes forever now to get your combat up. Okay, guys, so I finally upgraded to this little teleport jewelry, jewelry box thing. And I have everything I could ever need, which is pretty dope. I don't even know what this is. Actually, some of these teleports I've never used. The only one I'm not familiar with is this one. What is this? Interesting. That's really interesting, actually. Huh. Alright, well, I'm happy to say that I got that in my house, finally. Um, I was able to boost for it for a really long time. I just pretty much was kind of lazy, but I'll need to fill up this room. Hey guys, so I got 88 farming. Pretty nice. I'm one level away from 2,090 total level. I'm going to be super excited when I get to that 2,100 total level. It'll be so nice. Um, definitely will look good. So, yeah, getting some farming levels here. Hoping to get it to 90. I got an elite clue casket, and I thought I'd open it. Mmm... Oh wow, interesting. So, elf camp teleports, oak planks, tuna potatoes, and summer pies. I get a lot of these summer pies from elites. Interesting. I'm here. I have a diagonal task, and I officially finished off all my warrior or pff, sorry, all my rings. Warrior ring was the last one I think I needed. Um, just did a little task here, and got 47 diagonal bones. My task was 35, but I continued going to 47 just because I had the supplies, and the bones are always great. Got some alcohols, so that's really good. Okay, so I just did a Skatizo skill, and I love Skatizo, and I was planning to like knock out all of my totems because I have a greater, de greater demon task, but I forgot that you get a clue scroll every single time you kill Skatizo. And therefore, I'm just going to go do this clue and do the rest. But man, that's kind of like annoying you get a clue, but it's also really good. So I should probably just not complain. First clue scroll from Skatizo. Oops, super hard casket. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 1.3 mil armadillo dehyde boots. I, I'll, I'll take it, but I mean, I don't need it because I have occasions, but I'll take that. 1.3 mil. Dang, very nice. A second clue from Skatizo. I'm going to have four Skatizo kills in total. After this, I got two more to kill. But, uh, oh my gosh, all the ruined herald heraldic helms or whatever they're called. That's that's a funny clue, getting two of those in one. But 50k, uh, not too bad. Funny, though. Fricker, I'm doing a clue and I forgot freaking spade. That is the most annoying thing. Ugh. The casket from the uh, third clue, or third uh, clue from Skatizo. Um, pretty much junk, but you know what? I actually kind of needed the Moss the Harmus teleport, so that worked. Alcabulls. Crazy. So on my fourth Skatizo skill, I got an elite and a hard, so that's pretty sick. I'm going to do both of them and see what we get on that fourth Skatizo kill. Um, ooh, I actually needed a stole because it's one of the requirements, I think, for another clue. So this was definitely worth getting right here. That's so good. Now I'm going to do that elite clue and hope that I'm able to complete it. I should be able to, but anyway, I'm not too sure. Uh, after that, I plan to do some Zamorak kills, try to get my hosta, all of that good stuff because I'm on a greater demon task, so... We'll see how that goes. And of course, I can also get shards, like um, God of War shards, from the Zami task as well to try to finish off this Bandos God Sword. So we'll see about that. Elite casket from the Skatizo kill. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, not that great, but I'll take it, I guess. Like, that's a really weak elite clue. That's more like a hard clue, but you know what? I'll take it. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing an end to this 
Iron Woman Adventure Progression video. I think it's number 18 up in here. I got a lot of boring content I'm about to do up in here because, check this out, I got 11 mil in battle stabs. I got 5 mil here that I need to out. But basically, I'm going to make all these battle stabs. I got some cosmics. I'm just going to start doing these. And because my cash back stacks two mil, so that's pretty pathetic. I mean, I got like tons of alkables up in here, it's like six mil, and you know me, I like to be a hoarder and stack everything there is. But um, reality is, I got some boring content, and at the end of the day, I'm starting school tomorrow, so that's a really big thing for me, and that means that I unfortunately won't be probably playing as much if the class isn't too hard. It will be pretty chill, all good, and I don't get to play a lot. But, you know, if it's rigorous, I don't really know what to expect. And I may get a little unfortunate with this. So, if I'm not posting as much or if I'm not responding as much in my clan chat, which everyone is welcome to join the clan chats under my username, Sarthon, uh, it's because that I'm probably AFKing a skill in studying or doing coursework. So I sincerely apologize for that, but I'm, I got to finish up my studies because I'm graduating in December and I'm really looking forward to that. So, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel, feel, I don't know if y'all heard my cat, but she's saying hello. Okay, hello cat. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in seeing my future videos and uh, give this a share if you want to show your friends. Thanks guys.